Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. Once again, this is your Sankai Ariel. I will bring you some AutoCAD tutorial, a new and latest AutoCAD tutorial of my channel. But before that, uh, don't forget to subscribe and like my channel. Uh, please uh, click the subscribe button that you will see in your monitor. Thank you. So be with me in a few minutes. Okay, let's go. So here in my monitor, I have a pre-drawn dynamic block in plan. Okay. Uh, last uh, video tutorial that I shared with you, I shared with you about on how to make a dynamic block or in particular a door in elevation. For those who missed that uh, video tutorial, the uh, description below so you can watch it. So now, I will sh share with you on how to make this uh, dynamic door in plan. But before that, I will demonstrate to you how this dynamic block works in my drawing. Okay? So first, I can increase the width of my door. Something like this. Okay? And of course, I can increase also the thickness of my wall. Okay? It depends on the thickness of the wall to which I will assign this door. Okay. Then I can flip the uh, orientation from left to right. Okay. Then I can also flip horizontally, something like this. Like that. Then another one, the most powerful feature of this one is I can put this one to a wall that I want to assign and this will be automatically aligned to the wall okay for example here this is the slope wall I can put it here and it will automatically align to that wall okay okay like that so this is very powerful okay and I can, for example, here. So, it's very useful uh, to make our drawing faster. Now it's time to demonstrate to you on how to do this. Okay? Okay, let's align. align this one to the okay now we are ready to to make this door and I will demonstrate to you step by step okay first to save time we have to trace because it's already drawn we just want I just need to trace this one for example first we have to draw this architrave we have to trace it Let's mirror. Here we are. Then let's mirror again this one. Then let's draw the jump. This one. Okay. Let's close. Then let's close this one. Let's mirror. Then let's draw the door leaf. Let's mirror this one. Okay. And also this one. Okay.
okay i think it's done but for the handle and the imaginary door i think we will need only to copy that one the important is we already drawn the important element so we will just copy this imaginary door and the uh, the swing line and the door handle so i'll just copy this one and let's uh, explode okay. and let's copy this one this one okay i think we copied already okay this line is a wipe out line so we have also to do this for the wipe out line is Example here. Select this polyline and there is polyline, yes. Okay, then I have to put this one at the back. Draw order, send to back. Okay. Then maybe I will assign this one as layer the points. So, when I, if I will print this drawing, it will not be uh, included in the printing. Then I have to choose the color. That's me. The dark gray okay I think it's already identical with this one and I may it's I, it's I may match properties I think they are now identical so I have to delete this one okay, okay. let's check if we miss some elements no, so it's now it's almost the same okay. now I have to make this one the next step is to make this one as black so go in here create then I have to name this one dynamic let's say door block plus plan then pick point so my picking point is in here then I hit ok now this one is already a block now we have to make this one as dynamic block so as usual we have to go into the block editor environment so click right click block editor so we are now in the block editor environment so in the block editor environment again we have this one the black authoring palette then in the black authoring palette we have to apply some parameter now I need to have a parameter in order to increase the width or to adjustable uh, width size so we have to use this linear parameter so I have to in here for the width then I have it here then I have to reduce the grip point I have to come in here I have to select the one 
so I have only now one grip point on the right then we are now ready to put some action so action for the action is we have to select stretch then select parameter this one and this is the parameter point to associate here then is specify first corner of stretch frame I have to specify in here and select object I have to select this object in here but I have to deselect the swing line this arc this hidden line arc then I have to agree so hit enter so we have now an action applied to this distance one parameter so another one I need to stretch also my imaginary door whenever I uh, uh, increase the uh, width of my door I want this one also to synchronize increasing also so what will we do is to apply another action stretch same parameter here and the parameter point to associate it's also the same we have to select this one also here then first corner of stretch frame we have to select in here then select object I will only select the imaginary door then I agree I have to hit enter okay. now I need also the uh, imaginary swing line to synchronize in increasing my width okay so we have to add another action this time is scale okay scale so in the same parameter on the distance one then we have to select this arc hit enter okay now let's try our uh, block test block some extent okay let's try You notice that our imaginary door it transform awkwardly so we have to troubleshoot this one and to find solution I want this one if I uh, transform my width or increase my width I want this one to increase uh, the width as well vertically not like this so we have to close okay so the solution is Remember that we apply uh, action in this object, which is this one, right? So just click in here, the second action, and okay, in here, this one, and go to property table, and in here, in the overrides, we have to apply some value in the angle offset which is here by default it is zero so we have to apply value of 90 degree enter okay now let's try if it works test block some extent yes it's perfect now then let's close the block then in here I want this one to apply apply a specific value of the width example in here just click the parameter distance one and go go to value set in the distance type click in here I will select list now by default we have here 70 so just click in here So by default we have 70 and I need to add let's say 
60 I know 60 odd 800 odd 900 odd 1 meter odd 1.1 add 1.2 add so we we have to stop at 1.2 you can make as many as you can even up to 2 meter in width but for uh, demonstration I need only to show you up to 1.2 in width okay then I hit okay then let let's uh, test the block so mix them say yes it's here okay you will also find it also in here okay so in 60 80 90 one meter see see it's moving also okay so let's go to 60 then close the block Okay. Now, next action that we need to apply in here is the flipping action. Okay. So here, go to flip. Then my reflection line. We have to somewhere here. I want in the center. Here. Okay. Then we have to apply action. Go to action palette. Flip. Select parameter. This is the parameter. Then select object. I have to select all. Then hit enter. Okay, we have now the flipping action shown on our door then let's uh, test block if it is working so mix them okay so we have now the flip it's in here okay but there's a problem in here once I increase my width it is staying in the original position I want this flipping action always on the middle of my door so we have to apply some corre corrective action okay so let's close the test block okay, in here so we have to add action on our distance one parameter here action is stretch which is this one then this is the point to associate then specify corner of a stretch frame so on my stretch frame I have to put it in here then select object I have to select this one this one then hit enter okay now let's test the block test block so extend okay Now the, the another problem is whenever I stretch my my uh, my weed, my flipping action goes the same way. So I we need also to troubleshoot this one. So close test block. So this is the action that we apply in this parameter related to this flipping action. So let's click this one and go to property table in the override we have to go here the distance multiplier this is a full value of one so we need to make this one as 0.5 okay bingo then let us test the block some extent go so perfect our flipping action is now always on the center of our door okay next step is to apply an action on the width or the thickness of our 
door okay so this one will be useful in applying to the to the wall okay, let's put some parameter linear let's put in here and in here okay then again we need to reduce the grip point one then let's put some action action is stretch select parameter this one then point to associate should be in here okay then specify first corner of a stretch frame so my stretch frame somewhere here then select object so I have to select object inside this frame okay, hit enter then hit enter okay okay let, let us test the block some extent so it's already there okay perfect then we need now another one to put some flipping action horizontally okay so let's go again to action uh, no parameter in here flip so we have to put in here center we have to put here so we have now here the flipping action horizontally then let us put some action in here flip this is the parameter then select object so I have to select all then hit enter okay. let's try if the flipping action horizontally will work in our block test the block let's try yes but there will be a problem in here you know why i will show you to you so same problem before if we will increase the thickness it the flipping parameter will still stay in its original position so i want this one always on the center or in the middle of the thickness of our door whenever I increase the thickness okay so let's apply some corrective measure okay again I have to apply a stretch to this parameter same in here and specify stretch frame my stretch frame I will put it in here okay then select object so my object is only this one and this one let it hit enter okay here we are so then let us test the block some extent Now it's here then let's try if we increase so again it moves on the same way when I am increasing the thickness of my door so we have to put this one always on the center of our thickness of the door okay so close the test block so same uh, scenario that we did before on the on the width click in here then go to override overrides distance multiplier and reduce to point five then okay then let us test the block okay here it's always on the center okay so our block is perfect then the last thing that we have to do is the uh, 
alignment. We need this door aligned always on a wall, whether the wall is perfectly horizontal, vertical, or with a certain angle. Okay? So I have to put alignment. I have to put here in the middle. And here. So we have here now the alignment. Then let us close the black editor and let's try if it will work if it will work properly on our drawing. So save the changes to the dynamic door in here. Then I have to assign this one to a certain uh, the year name, for example, here. Now, let's apply. For example, if I will put in here, yes, then I have to flip, yes, okay? You notice that the, uh, the wall is still uh, visible. I want this one to be hidden. So I just make my wall uh, send to back. Okay. okay. Then, for example, if I will bring this one, for example, I will bring this one to here, so it will automatically align to my wall. I will bring this one here so it will also automatically align to the wall so when whatever wall you have it will automatically align okay for example in here okay in here I can flip then I can flip as well okay I can flip Then you can increase. You can increase. You can increase the width. Okay. Then you can you can flip. Okay. So you can play on your door now. So you will enjoy using this one, especially if you are doing your architectural plan. It will save a lot of time in making your drawing. So. I hope you enjoy and you learned a lot in this video presentation or in this video tutorial. If you learned a lot, of, or please uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So whenever I have a new video tutorial, you will always notified. And when you are subscribing my channel, it will uh, makes me motivated in making more, more, and more video tutorial in order to help you in your uh, AutoCAD operation. Thank you and see you on my next video tutorial. Bye-bye!